advance, cycle two, blue strike. For this strike, we're going to be going over some padded point stick sparring. So for our purple strike, we went over some stick strikes and blocks using our wooden eskrima stick. Now we're going to break out our padded stick here so we can practice doing some stick strikes on partners. Now, we have a few different strikes that we've learned, right? Our flat strikes, flat going across, coming down for number two, coming up. We also have that twisting strike to the head. Now, when we can use all those strikes with the partner, uh, just different, different areas of the body that we'll be striking. So you can be striking the body, and you can use the downward strike, the upward strike, that flat strike. You can also strike towards the head, still using that downward angle or that twisting. You can also strike below the knee, where you're using a flat strike or maybe an upward strike, strike three. And you can also strike the stick arm. That's the arm that's holding the stick. So just to go over how that looks like with the partner here. So if we're in our position here, whatever hand is your dominant hand that's holding the stick, that leg is always going to lead. That's, gonna, that's the leg that's going to be in front. So if I'm striking to the body, again, I have those downward strikes. And the idea here is I want to try to get to this big center, center portion, try to stay away from the limbs, except for when we get to the stick arm, which we'll go over. So I can strike to the body, flat across, keeping above that belt. The idea here, it's point stick sparring. So I'm just thinking about throwing a single technique with that impact to be able to hit. So once I can throw that technique, I can reset it out if, I, if I'm able to, uh, to make it and, and create that impact. I can also strike upwards on the body as well. I can go to the head. Now, when we're doing this live, we'll have gear on, we have the protective equipment to where I can really throw these strikes with a little more intensity. And I have that twisting strike to the head. Ideally, I want to go to the top of the head on these strikes. Another strike we can throw is, like I said, below the knee. So wherever this knee level is, below that region is the good striking region. And that can be on either leg. It might be on that front leg, which is usually the case it's closest to me, or it could be on that rear leg as well. When I'm striking, another tip to remember is make sure to strike with just that last part of your stick. So I don't want to strike with the middle of my stick. I want it to be just that last portion, that last quarter to a third of the stick. One other area I can throw is I can throw to the stick arm. That means my partner's hand that's holding his stick, I can strike that arm and create a point this way. So maybe it's a downward strike, strike number two, it's on the opposite side perhaps. And I don't want to strike the fingers or the hand or the wrist, but anything above that is fair game. So when I'm striking that arm, anywhere there. Now, this arm doesn't count. It's just the arm that is holding that stick. And of course, just like how we learned our strikes, uh, our strikes and our blocks, the same blocks apply as well. So if my partner is throwing strikes at me, I could use those same blocks that we learned when we're in a sparring situation to work on the defensive side as well. All right, let's take another look. Padded stick sparring, body strikes. 